Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our last two boxes of 2013 Panini Select Baseball. Now this is a double personal break for Miguel R. from California. So thank you so much Miguel for letting me open these on up for you. And now actually during Friday's double box break of two boxes of Select again for Abel R. from California, we did see finally a rookie Garrett Cole autograph. We've still not seen a Christian Yelich autograph who does have, of course, rookie autos in this product. So that would be a nice find here today. I'm hoping we get to see some more Mike Trout cards, maybe some more gorgeous silver prisms in these two boxes. Like I said, these were our last two boxes that we did have in stock. So let's get on into these for Miguel by snapping ourselves into the corner. And I'll start with this top box here. I'm just going to set box number two over here. And of course, since it's two breaks of the same product, I'm just going to go through both boxes and then do a recap at the end of box number two. So let's get into box number one here. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this product, this is 2013 Panini Select Baseball. Panini, of course, does not have the MLB license, but it is the first year of Select. So things like Mike Trout cards, Mike Trout silver prisms, Ken Griffey silver prisms, things like that can get quite expensive out of this product. So that's mainly what we're looking for. You do get four autographs inside two mini boxes, it's supposed to be two autographs in each mini boxes, seven packs per box as in seven packs in each mini box. And let's move this out of the way. Six cards per pack. Let's get started with mini box number one. So here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these all out here. Close this back up. Set that right there. Move the knife out of the way just in case. And let's grab, whoop, let's grab pack number one and get started. That is not Mike Trout, that is Mark Trumbo <laughs> right on top. And ooh, we're already starting off with a Silver Prism Skills insert and a Silver Prism David Ortiz. We have Adam Dunn from Chicago. I'm guessing the White Sox based on the uniform colors. And David Ortiz Silver Prism here for the Boston Red Sox. And we have, ooh, we have a redemption. However, Panini is honoring redemptions if the uh, player is able to sign. And if not, they are offering points. But who is this redemption here? It is Aaron Hicks. So like I said, even though it is expired, Panini, because I guess a lot of people are opening this product, uh, Panini is honoring the redemptions if they are able to, uh, as in the player is able to sign. And if not, they will give you points in exchange for the expired redemption. So that, unfortunately, the redemption is our first autograph for this mini box and let's keep going here we have george brett skills insert oh we have some sort of gold prism in here it is a deontay heath rookie gold prism here for i'm guessing again the white socks based on the uniform colors as number 20 of 25 now he was a rookie pitcher back in 2013. The name isn't too familiar to me, so I'm not sure if he is still playing, but hey, a gold prism is still cool nonetheless. Deontay Heath, gold prism 20 of 25. And we have a Yasuo Puig, Youngbloods, Los Angeles Dodgers insert here, rookie card. And then another rookie here, lots of rookies in this pack, John Machi for the Giants. We have a U Darvish base and a Buster Posey Silver Prism. Thunder Alley of Andrew McCutcheon. And the last pack here of mini box number one. So we should be getting our second auto here. And this one is an active auto. We have Jed Gior uh, excuse me, Giorco, 64 out of 500. This is a base rookie auto for the Padres, Jed Giorco. Like I said, 64 out of 500. And 
And then we have it on Fuego. Buster Posey insert. And that will do it for mini box number one. So let me straighten up these piles real quick. And also make room for this on Fuego. Alrighty, next mini box. Ooh, this one feels extra heavy. I'm not sure why. Maybe there's a lot of prisms in here. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. That is a like an actual possibility here. <laughs> Let me grab these packs. Set that up there. Why not? Alright, here we go. Pack number one, mini box number two. We have the statisticians. Buster Posey insert. And Thunder Alley, Josh Hamilton for the Angels. Steven Strasburg, Silver Prism. Right, everything is facing the same direction in that pack. We have an Albert Pujols skills insert. Our first autograph is Nick Tepesh. Number 309 out of 750 for the Rangers. There's a base rookie auto. Nick Tepish for Texas. We do have a Marcel Ozuna rookie card here for Miami. Silver Prism of Albert Pujols here. And we have a Mike Trout base card. Definitely will be sleeving that one up. And we have our fourth auto of the box here. Alex Gordon, number 23 of 25. So this is a gold, I'm guessing. Or no, this just looks like a silver prism. It is numbered out of 25, though. Alex Gordon for Kansas City. It's a really nice looking card. And then we have an Ernie Banks silver prism. Very cool. And the last pack here, box number one for Miguel. We have on Fuego, John Segura. And that will do it for box number one. Like I said, the recap will be at the end of box number two. So let's grab that right here and crack on into it. Grab these two mini boxes. Get this out of the way. There we go. Let's get started. Pack number one, main box number three. We have our first auto already. It is Todd Frazier for Cincinnati. And it's just a base Todd Frazier autograph. Skills, Craig Kimbrell, or Kimbrell, insert, excuse me. Ooh, we have another gold prism. 
Oh, Chipper Jones. Definitely not a bad card to get here. Chipper Jones for the Braves. That's number 21 of 25. Very cool. Card number 123. So that is one of the veteran high numbers. We have a Scott Rice rookie card. Ichiro base here in the back. Let me get this sleeve done up here. And I believe that is probably due for at least a top loader. Definitely going to get that nice and safe in there. And next pack. Ooh, silver prism of Derek Jeter. Very nice. Man, back to back good packs here. Card number five. Now, I am curious. I'd like to see. Going to the bay. The silver. Prism. I did press the hotkey. That did snap me back to full screen. Let me check if there's any sold listings. Last one did sell for just 30 bucks, but there are some graded ones. Let's see what graded ones sell for. Well, actually, that's a regular prism. Very cool, though. That actually just did sell on the 14th. I mean, not bad for a silver prism. Like I said, the ones that look like... Yeah, PSA 10 on this card. Did just sell at auction August 23rd for $113.50. See if there's a gold Chipper, zone, chipper Jones. Ooh. Those are, no, those are still showing me Jeter listings. Aw, oh, man. Come on. Doesn't look like there's any sold listings. Let's see if there's any listed. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing up right now. So that is cool. Two nice prisms back to back. Uh, let me... Boop. All right. Next pack here. Took our quick eBay detour because I was nosy, nosing around. We have, what is this? Oh, this is a Thunder Alley insert of Justin Upton. In our second auto here, we have Nick Tepish. Once again, 592 out of 750. Interesting back-to-back -back boxes with the same autograph. Hey, on Fuego, Mike Trout insert. I'm going to sleeve that one up, too. Why not? Always sleeve the Trouts. Uh, Miguel, you're, you're corner in the market here on these Nick Tepesh rookie autos. You got two out of 750 now. Those are our two autos from mini box number one. Let's see the last pack here. Well, mini box number three, technically. We have a Nick Noonan. Silver Prism Rookie card, and Norichika Aoki, Silver Prism. Alright, last mini box here for Miguel. Let's get into it. It's just kind of curvy. We have a select future insert of Chris Bryant. That's cool. We have Mariano Rivera, skills. Oh, come on. We have another redemption here. Who is this one? This is Nick Franklin. Like I said, though, Panini is honoring if they can possibly honor redemptions. And if not, they will just give you some points. But that is Nick Franklin redemption. So two redemptions in two boxes. That is a bit disappointing. We have QG Fujikawa, rookie. Like I said, though, we are seeing some nice prisms. The Derek Jeter silver, Chipper Jones gold, which there were none listed and none sold on eBay. For that cheaper Jones. We have Freddie Freeman. Let me sleeve up that redemption before I forget. We 
And our second auto is Carlos Martinez. And that is a Silver Prism rookie auto. And a Nolan Ryan Silver Prism right next to it. I'm curious. I'm going to nose around on that one too. But Carlos Martinez Silver Prism autograph. Nolan Ryan Silver Prism. Didn't we also get an Ernie Banks Silver Prism too? Maybe I should check that one. Or maybe I will leave it up to the viewer's suspense. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I'll just check the Nolan Ryan real quick. Like I said, I can't help it. I'm nosy. I'm nosy, especially on older products like this where I really have no clue. I'm curious to see. Nolan Ryan, Silver Prism. There's one up. Card number 108. That was a different picture. Let's see. It's not the same one. Alright, so it looks like one did sell for best offer on $15, but I'm sure like the Jeter in a PSA condition. And these are pack fresh, you guys, obviously. Uh, would sell for more. So anyways, I mean, not bad. Just a parallel prism. 15 bucks at least. But anyways, here we go. Next pack, we're still... We did, well, okay, so we did get both autos already. Wonder if we can get... I mean, we've had two golds already. Maybe we can get a third gold. Maybe we can get a, another Mike Trout. We have Matt Harvey. And the last pack here... Come on, bring us something crazy in this last pack. Please. Oh, look, there's another Derek Jeter card on the back. Mike Trout, base again. I'll sleeve that one up. Anthony Rizzo, Thunder Alley. And Clay Buchholz, Silver Prism. That will do it for these two boxes here for Miguel. Now, let me move this off to the side so we can do a quick recap. Here's our insert Silver Prism pile. Base Silver Prisms. So sorted sleeved cards, a couple trouts, a couple golds, a couple redemption autographs, which is odd, both boxes back to back having redemptions and two Nick Tepish autographs. We actually did couple, get a couple of prism autos, so alrighty, alright. Alright, so starting off with our two redemptions, we did get Aaron Hicks and Nick Franklin. And we did get a rookie silver prism auto of Carlos Martinez, numbered out of 99. We did get a silver prism Alex Gordon autograph out of 25. Base Todd Frazier auto, not numbered. Two Nick Tepish rookie autos out of 750. And a Jed Giorco rookie base auto out of 500. All right, we did get two gold prisms. We had a rookie gold, Deontay Heath, and a Chipper Jones. These are both numbered out of 25, 21, and 20 of 25. There's some of our nicer silver prisms. We got a Derek Jeter and a Nolan Ryan. Then we got two Mike Trout base cards and an on fuego Mike Trout insert. And then for our insert silver prisms, to get skills, Adam Dunn, two Thunder Alleys. And a rookie, Nick Noonan. And for our base silver prisms, I'll just go through these real quick. Some of them sometimes from this angle don't look like prisms, so I have to check. But yeah, the David Ortiz is also a prism. Sometimes they just sometimes they look kind of weird. But that is it for these two boxes on our recap. Thank you so much, Miguel, for letting me open these up for you. Not sure which team is your favorite or who, which players you were looking for, but I hope you did enjoy the opening and that I was able to add some nice cards to your collection. Definitely impressed with uh, how actually 2013 Select is kept up. I was saying last video in Abel's two boxes that I was impressed that they're actually nice and flat. And there's actually a really funny comment saying was maybe they weren't flat to begin with, but after having them kept in box for seven years, they flattened out, which I thought was pretty funny. Because usually uh, modern, like 2020 Panini Prism Select, you know, any kind of like that Prism style card uh, get kind of curvy. So it's nice to see 
you know, nice, flat. There was one card that I thought was suspiciously curvy. It might have been a prism, but it was just a regular base card that's in here somewhere. But that will do it for this opening. Definitely a lot of cool names, silver prisms. Not only just the Jeter and the, the Ryan, we got the David Ortiz. There's a Freddie Freeman in there, so that's pretty cool. Like I said, unfortunate about the two redemptions, but Panini, you send them off to them. They will either honor it or give you points as a replacement for that, which then I know points isn't the greatest, but you can turn around and use it on other, like... Sometimes you can buy stuff on the Panini site with points and whatnot, or you can sell the points if they send you a points card. Not sure if it just puts it on your account or not. So don't quote me on being able to sell the points, but in general, you can usually sell, like if you get a points card and you, you know, throw it on eBay and someone will buy it. But that is it for this opening. Again, thank you so much, Miguel. I hope you enjoyed the video and all of you out there watching as well. I hope you enjoyed it too. You know, I always try to be as entertaining as possible, giving my insight on things, what I think are cool. But let me know what you thought was the coolest card in here. I'm going to have to go with that gold chipper Jones. Like I said, I checked eBay real quick. Didn't see any sold listings. So that means there hasn't been any sold in the last three months. And also none listed of that card in particular on eBay either. So I guess it's kind of like a set your own price kind of thing if you decided to sell it on that one, Miguel. But that is cool. Definitely cool. Two golds. You know, one being a rookie that I'm not familiar with the name, so perhaps might not play anymore. But that Chipper Jones is definitely pretty nice. And three trout cards. Can't really go wrong with that. But that is it for this video. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you. So if you're, like I said, if you're not yet already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We'd love to add you to our growing ranks of people who just enjoy me opening stuff and being weird. So that is it for me. Next up, we do have a box of Donruss Elite for Sean B. So baseball's not really your thing, but you just wanted to check it out. See, why is she opening this old product? Now, we do have some football coming up next. And then also, after that, lots and lots of Opeechee Hockey. Five total boxes of Opeechee Hockey coming up later as well. That is it for me here. Let me get this cleaned up. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. And I'll be right back. Bye.